Sudipta Bazu joined IIT Gandhinagar in 2018 as a professor and researcher in chemistry. He came from Indian Institute of Science Education and Research in Pune, where he and his team developed a nanoparticle that impairs the evolution of cancer cells. Our basic idea is to no matter what, we want the cancer cells to be dead. The nanoparticle is a kind of a package that will induce stress in ER, endoplasmic reticulum, the protein factor of the cell. This stress will eventually lead to the death of cancer cells. The package has a tag, which serves as the address, a fluorescent element that allows tracking with a microscope, and the drug that will inhibit the chaperone protein. This protein destroys the unwanted proteins in a normal cell. This nanoparticle goes inside the cells, which we can see under the microscope, the confocal microscopy. And in, when it is inside the cells, because of these tags or endoplasmic reticulum address, it localizes further into endoplasmic reticulum and releases its payload to inhibit HSP90. And when it inhibited, more and more unwanted proteins are uh, accumulated and that leads to endoplasmic reticulum stress and that stress eventually leads to cancer cell death. For this research, a certain type of cells was used. We used one particular uh, cervical cancer cell line. So it can be used for uh, worse different types of uh, cancer cell lines like breast cancer cells, like ovarian cancer cells or lung cancers and, and so on. As this process kills cells, it is important to differentiate cancer cells from normal ones. The vasculature is completely different. So the vasculature in near the cancer tissues are much more bigger. The pore size is much more bigger, which can be passed by these nanoparticles. But if it is a healthy tissue, those junctions are very much tight. The, the, the tissue tissue or cell cell junctions are very much tight. So that is why these nanoparticles will not be able to invade those healthy tissues. And that is the one of the uh, important uh, features of these nanoparticles that it will have less effect to the healthy cells compared to the cancer cells. The next step in this research will be animal trials. Later, probably, experiments on humans. And the last step, and it can take more than 10 years, it will be industrial production for next generation cancer therapy.